Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's Wonderful World! I am in my treehouse, which is inside of my tree hop hotel, which is a tree. I am being joined by Elfily. We're both still very Christmassy. We're certainly dragging out the old Christmas spirit. Should we just say that these are our winter hats? And then when it gets back to summer, I'll switch back to my, my jungle rose. <laughs> we can drag out the uh, the festive season to ridiculous lengths here, why not? <laughs> anyway, uh, I think Lee uh, should have written down a joke for me. I'm losing track to, to which room's the joke room now. There's so many random rooms all over the place. Right, what is the, what is the joke of the day? How do you repair a broken tomato? Tomato paste. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> very good, very good. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dan, he's going to come up with a new joke. Tomato. I mean, tomorrow? Oh, God, that was bad. That was even worse than your joke, Lee. <laughs> and I actually came up with that one rather than Googling it. Uh, anyway, uh, today in this video, we're basically continuing uh, what we've been doing in the last few videos, and uh, that is trying to make the fiery greatsword, which better be worth it, uh, considering all the hassle we're going to. Here we go. We're, we're waving around our, our current swords, but we're going to upgrade these to, to fiery greatswords. And uh, the way um, you make it well, is by mixing a uh, hellstone with obsidian, and uh, we're trying to get both of them today. And the way you get obsidian is by mixing lava and water. And uh, if you look on your map down here, I thought that if I got that big bit of water there and mixed it with that big bit of lava, that is going to make more obsidian than I am ever going to need. Uh, so if we go and head over there, and uh, yeah, we should be able to go and uh, mix the uh, the lava and obsidian. Uh, no, the lava and water, sorry, uh, in order to, to get some obsidian. And I've got quite a lot of hellstone on me already. I think I got like, uh, I think it's about 34 pieces, and I have zero idea how many I need. I think I might need just a few more, uh, so we might have to have a little quick pop back down to the underworld. A quick pop down to hell. <laughs> God, like normally you pop to the shops. Normally it's like, oh no, we've run out of milk, darling. Can you pop to the shops to get some milk? It's not normally, oh no, we've run out of hellstone. Can you quickly pop to the underworld for me, darling? <laughs> Before tea time. Yeah, so we might have to quickly pop down there to get some more. Who knows? We might uh, have enough anyway. I think it's, um, I think it was 20 hellstone bars uh, we needed uh, in order to, to make the, the great sword. So uh, we'll see if we got enough. And you need to use a hellforge, uh, which I got a couple videos ago. And uh, yeah, then you use that uh, in order to, to craft it, I believe. Or use that to um to craft the, the bars, at least. I think you've got to use a uh, an anvil to make the actual sword. Uh, who knows? I'm kind of making this up as I go along. We'll see if anything uh, of what I just said is correct. Like, I normally have a quick look on the, uh, the Terraria wiki. Uh, just to get ideas for things to do. Uh, I also listen to uh, a lot of your comments. I'm always going through them, hearing your suggestions, but uh, there is always something fun about uh, trying to work out things yourself and uh, uh, discovering all of your own things. And I think this is it. I think this is the, the entrance to the cave down here. Uh, so if we keep making our way down and uh, slightly left when we can, uh, we should come across the uh, the place that I'm after. This is a place that we've we've been down before, so I'm pretty sure there's not going to be uh, too many amazing ores. I saw some uh, some silver and some copper and some of the the boring sort of ores that you can get loads of. I'm after the the fancy special stuff. That's what I'm after, and I think this is the right way. Now, I do want to be careful because I know for a fact there's lava down here because I saw it on the map. So I do want to try and tread uh, quite carefully. It's very dark. We've put no torches down. Normally, once we've we've visited an area, we cover it in torches, and there's uh, almost none down here. Here we go. There's a few more around here. Is this the place we're after? I think this might be. I think this might be the water. Or no, we need to go down even further. We need to go. If we go to the left this way, if we break our way through here and uh, go down to the left, uh, we should uh, find our way the, to the place. It's a bit awkward uh, because the water isn't directly on top of the lava. Uh, so we're going to have to be careful where we place it and uh, probably build like a bit of a tunnel. Uh, like a little bridge for the uh, the water to go over. Uh, because if I do manage to mix that water and lava together, then it is going to be crazy. There's going to be so much obsidian. Like, pretty much more than we are ever going to need. So, uh, that should be our, our set for obsidian in the future. And here we go. Here is a sign that we've been here. There's a little campfire and a gold chest. Anything good? Nope. Might as well grab the uh, the gold chest while we're here though we can take that back so we don't need to to craft one of them uh, so it certainly seems like we're we're in the the right area at least in the area that we've been before and let me have another quick check of the map. oh here we go it's right here it's this water underneath me here is the water we're going to be using that water there and we need to mix it with obsidian which is uh, just directly down here so 
what I guess would be the easiest way to do uh, to do it is to, to dig up, I guess, rather than digging down. Then that way there won't be water all over us. And be very careful here, Lee. I am right on top of the lava where I am now. So uh, let me have another quick check on my map. Uh, if I go, yeah, if I dig just diagonally up here and sort of go a lot right and a, a little bit up, uh, hopefully I should link up to the water and it will all uh, hopefully just go and pour down. Uh, before I break the water though, I am going to build uh, an extra little bridge uh, just in case the uh, the water doesn't make it far enough. So let me uh, get some of this gold as well while I'm here. I don't know why I didn't get this before. And if I break away this here, then go back up and uh, dig away like this. I just want to get to a, a place where I can uh, properly stand, put my feet down onto it. And yes, yeah, so if I sort of start digging uh, to the right and up, uh, a little slant that I just need to make sure to stop digging before I get to the water and uh, then I can uh, come back down and build uh, the little bridge across like I'm not entirely sure how how water works in this game I don't know how steep it needs to be going down surely the water's going to make its way down through here I've had trouble in the past with water like completely flooding and getting all over me so I don't think this has to be too steep we just need to uh, make sure this links up uh, to the the bottom of the puddle over here and uh, we should be getting pretty close so I want to be uh, very careful where I'm where I'm swinging my pick Pickaxe. If, you, if you carry on going this way, Lee, be very careful not to actually reach uh, the water. I'm going to start building... Whoa! I'm going to start killing the cave bats. I'm going to start building the uh, the little bridge across. I've got some, some stone on me here. Uh, if I go... God, I'm very scared above this uh, lava. I never feel safe on top of it. If I grapple on here, uh, I can build along like uh, this a little bit. And so the water should come all the way along here. Then if I go try and stand on top of here, and if I just sort of go down and across like this a little bit, then here we go. The water should come down here and then all trickle down right into this lava over here. That should be it done now. Okay, so I'm going to get this last bit of gold just uh, while I'm here. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to break the, the final block and send the water through. Have you managed to get to it, Lee? Oh, look, he's right there. He's right there. Okay, I don't know if it's a good idea to stand here, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to break the final block and we have water. Let's get out of here before we drown. Let's go, 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 go. Woo! It's like a slide. It's like a water slide. And look, there we go. We've got the obsidian on the top so if we stand like about here we should be able to break the obsidian and the water should just keep replacing it yeah look, here we go as we break the the obsidian we just keep getting more of it this is like a, a really easy way to get it and it's actually a pretty safe as well look how cool is this look at this lee oh god i say safe then a mother slime jumps on my face <laughs> take out the baby slimes take out the babies <laughs> oh dear it's all right they're googlies they're slime babies they're not nice babies yeah so look we can just go and get loads of obsidian look at it we got like all of this lava here like all of that lava could be turned to obsidian i think there was more water than there was lava so we can get loads of it we can probably get even more than than what we what we really need to be honest uh, so yeah if i just keep going uh, back and forth mining here i know that the water's dried up we've got no more water coming down ah there, there, there seems to be a problem have we got some sort of blockage up here and um, there's a little bit of water trapped down here that's not gonna that might give us one more bit of obsidian though uh, has it has it run dry is that all of the the water that was here ah okay it was like a, a little bit of a, a separate pool over here and there's a dart trap in the wall there did you see that right if i break through here uh, this will get me um a little a little bit more water there we go there's some more water going down and then oh there we go that's loads of water going down then if we just the further down we dig here and across uh, that means just the the more water we're going to be able to get down there but to be honest i think we've, we've probably got like almost as much as we need now anyway if we just go gather uh, all of the uh, the new obsidian that will be made now with this water uh, i'm sure that's going to be more than than enough here, look at that look how much is here so we can just keep as we as i did last time uh, going down and digging all of this and look i can just dig like right down here it just like makes obsidian all over the place <laughs> it's probably a bad idea because i'm probably going to end up drowning that way but i don't know i just think it, it looks really cool and how much obsidian have i got on me uh 24 25 26 27 i'm getting quite a lot okay tell you what lee do you want to do you want to stay here and just gather up all of this obsidian i'm going to make a very quick trip to hell i'm going to pop to hell and i'm going to get some more hellstone and then we'll meet back at the house and then we can make the uh, the fiery great sword at the uh, at the house together so um i might actually i can't remember where was my entry Entrance to hell. I think it'll be easier if I if I magic mirror and then just then set off from the house. So which one was the tunnel? I think it was this one here, yeah. So it's the there's my house. Okay, it's in that, that big dip there. So if I go uh, from here and just go and head straight down, uh, I'm going to go and gather up some some more hellstone. It's going to be a bit more dangerous because last time I did this, I had something called uh, the... Ob oh, actually! I know what I can do. I can make... Uh, while I'm here, sorry, I'm getting very distracted. I can make an obsidian skull. Then that way I can I can stand on it. Um, if I go to... I can't remember if I need to be at an anvil or a crafting table. 
Uh, can you see obsidian skull? I need to be at a furnace. Uh, there's actually a furnace down here. I might as well just use this one while I'm here. There we go. I'm gonna make. I've, I've made two obsidian skulls, uh, so I can have one for you as well, Lee. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have saved my obsidian. But there we go. I've got another obsidian skull, and if I replace that with the um uh with this thing, I guess, uh, then this should uh, allow me to uh, grant immunity to fire blocks. Yeah, this should make it so I'm allowed to um. Stand. Oh, what's going on with my door? Oh, I just broke the door off. Cuh. I don't know my own strength. I just lifted the entire door off. Let me go and put that back down. Yeah, this should make it so I can stand on Hellstone uh, without getting all burnt, which should make this a whole lot easier. And I'm sure Lee is getting loads of obsidian. So, um, yeah, and as long as nothing goes wrong now, fingers crossed, uh, I should be able to have the uh, the fiery greatsword uh, by the end of the video. And then there was just one more sword, which I needed to make, called the Muzza 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 Sword. I, can't, I can never pronounce it, uh, but it's a sword that you get uh, from a dungeon and uh, I have been in most of my dungeon uh, but there's uh, a few rooms I haven't explored uh, so hopefully uh, there's going to be a uh, dungeon chest in there uh, which is going to have the the final sword I need well, there's actually two that I need but one of them um, I, I can make really easily I actually had one before I think I gave it to ballistic squid and so I might just ask him for it back or just make a new one all you need is um uh, just a bit of demonite and I got loads of that so uh, I'm not too worried about what uh, about that one and then yeah once I've got all those four swords I will be able to make the knight's edge which is currently uh, the uh, the best sword uh, which you can make uh, before you switch over to hard mode and so that should definitely uh, help me get set up uh, for killing the uh, the wall of flesh uh, which is uh, something that I am going to be doing uh, at some point in the future uh, anyway uh, I have almost approached hell you can always tell uh, you're getting closer to, to hell because uh, there's lava absolutely all over the place so I'm gonna have to watch my step yeah here we go this is this is where just the big drop is right last whoa and something doesn't like me something knows that I'm here whoa no 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 please don't land in lava this obsidian skull uh, protects me from the fiery blocks it does not however uh, protect me from lava so I am still gonna have to be uh, very careful about that and got this arch demon he's owning me let's take him out I suppose he's an arch demon you would kind of expect it and yes yeah, so the reason I'm here uh, is to get these blocks this is what they look like uh, they're called hellstone and uh, I need to mix them with um uh, I think you mix the hellstone with obsidian uh, to make the the hellstone bars so let me go and uh, gather up a bit of this I also might while I'm here grab some some walls some obsidian walls and oh god I forgot about that I forgot that the lava comes out oh no I'm getting really hurt quick drink the health potion oh no this is not good this is not good right run away run away I'm gonna go and hide inside here for a little bit look at my health I really hurt from that I forgot how dangerous the underworld was I don't know why <laughs> you would kind of expect it yeah I might grab some of these walls in the background here oh does it not let you so don't let me grab these. Oh, I don't think it does because I was going to make a room in my house, uh, which is going to be uh, was going to be where I um where I put my hellforge, and I was going to build it all out of uh, obsidian and hellstone and stuff. And so I was going to grab some. I guess you can't take the background, uh, but you can take some of these bricks. So I'm going to go and uh, gather up some of these. I don't want to break any from the walls. I'm only going to do the floors because yeah, there's a lot of lava on the walls, and I don't want it to all come flooding in. That actually happened to to Lee not too long ago. So uh, yeah, I've learned my lesson from uh, his mistake. <laughs> So let's go and grab a, uh, grab up a few of these. Like you can craft them as well. I think you can just make them out of obsidian. Uh, but seeing as it's all just sort of lying here unused anyway, I might as well grab that. But anyway, my health's gone up a little bit, and uh, I'm almost ready to use my next health potion. So um, yeah, I should be okay. And oh, look at this stuff actually. Can I grab? Can I grab this stuff? Oh, here we go. I can use this. Is it, is it actually breaking off? I don't know what. Am I, am I destroying it? I think I'm just destroying it. I don't think I'm actually gathering any, anything. Uh, what is this here? Is this like a uh, hellstone brick? Is that what this is? Yeah, hellstone brick. I might uh, grab a little bit of this as well, just in case uh, I want to build uh, some of the um, some of that that devilly crafting room. I might want to build some of this in there as well. So I'm gonna go and uh, grab up a little bit of this. You might actually be able to craft the um, the hellstone walls out of the hellstone brick, uh, which would be uh, quite an efficient way of doing it. So I'm gonna go and grab up uh, gather up all of this. Like these seem quite rare. I think it was one of these buildings is um, in one of these buildings when I got my my sun fury, uh, which is my my favorite weapon in all of the world right now. Well, it's my my strongest weapon in all of the world. So <laughs> I probably use it uh, more than anything else. I do kind of like the um, the uh, the blade of grass weapon. Actually, is actually um, uh, a lot more powerful than I than I first thought. And oh god, there's a fire imp underneath me. Right, let's let's deal with him and then let's go uh, set off and grab the uh, the last few pieces of hellstone. Uh, the chances are Lee's got all of the the obsidian we're gonna need, and so he's probably there waiting very patiently for me at the back of the house. Actually, no, he's not. I can see him. I can see him up to the right. He's gone up to the right somewhere. Maybe he's still getting some more obsidian. And so all I'm looking for now is um. 
a good place to easily gather up hellstone without getting burnt, which is <laughs> the uh, the crucial point. What I might do is, oh no, I accidentally switched away from my health potions. Yeah, I might put a little platform and uh, put it just above it. And so that way, when the, the lava comes down, uh, hopefully it, it shouldn't get all over me and it'll just all trickle down. Is that going to get on me? There we go. It just, it just burnt away the platforms. If I just go and uh, break all of this down here and try and avoid the stupid little hell bats. <laughs> all I'm doing is killing bats in this video and those things are annoying. They're really fast and then they just go through. And oh no, is this another archdemon? There is. Let's take out the archdemon. These are the guys that owned me last time. Can you not just leave me alone? Can you not? Come on, it's just one thing after another. All I want to do is steal a little bit of your hellstone. And you're not using it. It's just sitting here in the wall unused. I want to take a little bit home just so I can make my fancy new sword and then I'll be out of here and then, yeah, I'm just going to leave you alone. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think I need too much. As I said, I did get some... Uh, a few videos ago, uh, so I do have some of it on me anyway, but it would be so annoying if I go back to craft the uh, the fiery greatsword, and I realise that I like I just don't have enough, you know, it's just my luck I'd have like one not enough or something, so I'd rather get uh, more than I need, and who knows, I might need it for something else in the, the future anyway, so it's good to uh, just to gather up as much as I can. Right, let's break that and make sure I don't get hit by the lava take out this hellbat, and uh, yeah, let's go and try and find uh, another good place like this where I can go and uh, gather up a, a whole load of it. It is a lot easier having this um having this uh this obsidian skull actually all i need to do is worry about the lava if i just sort of grapple up here there we go i can just avoid the lava for a little bit and uh, let's go let's go head off then let's go and try and find another large batch of hellstone there's lots of just little bits of hellstone like this that i can gather up the problem is it takes like quite a little oh no 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 i just magic mirrored i just pressed the wrong button oh well hopefully i was able to get enough how much i got 56 and then 40 pieces of obsidian. Uh, hopefully, uh, that is going to be enough. Right, so I'm back at the house now, Lee, if you wanted to, to join me. Uh, if you are near here, uh, hell... Oh, don't worry, he's back, he's back. <laughs> right, so let's, let's go and put down the, the, the hell forge. I think I'm going to build the room uh, around here somewhere, but there's not really uh, anything anything there yet. And so let's just put it down. Let's put it down anywhere for now. Let's put it let's put it in the the metal workshop next to the the normal furnace. And so I think if I use this, I can make those those hellstone bars, I believe. So I just need uh, obsidian and hellstone. Uh, is it round here somewhere? Oh, what's this? Oh, these are all the different type of walls I can now make. And here we go. These are hellstone bars. So I need to make 20 of these. Let's hope I got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No! No! <laughs> oh, I don't have enough hellstone. I was so close. I got plenty of obsidian, but I don't have enough hellstone. Right, I am going back. I am going to go back to the underworld. You can have that there, Lee. <laughs> we need to go and get some more. Um, Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut ahead into the video until I'm back down there, so you don't need to watch the trip again. And then we're going to carry on back in hell, and we're going to gather up the, uh, the last bit of hellstone. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've just managed to get back down to the underworld. And um, this is actually the second time I've just got back down to the underworld because uh, I tried... Whoa! I, I tried doing this before and I did what I almost just did then and dived straight into lava and I burned to death and it was painful and horrible. So I was like, right, forget that. Do it again. And so, yeah, this time... Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get some hellstone. And look at this. Look at how much there's here. And this is actually quite easy to gather. Uh, I need to, if I do like a little trail down here, then hopefully all of that lava can escape. And I can uh, hopefully pretty safely uh, gather it all up here. Uh, Lee's come down with me. Um, I'm not sure where he is, actually. He looks actually to be quite far away. But uh, Lee is uh, tracking down hellstone as well. So hopefully, uh, with our with our combined efforts, uh, we'll be able to, to get enough. I can't believe how close I was. I had, I had 16... And I needed 20. And like when I started making them, and I realised it was like using, I think it was like four pieces of hellstone per each hellstone bar. I, was, I immediately thought like, oh no, I have not gathered enough. <laughs> oh well, here we go. We're managing to get quite a lot here and it seems to be uh, relatively self safe uh, as far as uh, gathering hellstone goes. If I uh, hop down a little bit further, I'm being very careful here after last time. <laughs> and if I get rid of that bit there, there we go. That, that's that's draining away all the lava. I'm doing lots of draining today. I feel like I'm, I'm a plumber. I've been doing the draining for all of the, the water earlier and now I'm doing the, the same for the lava here. If I go and get rid of that bit there, oh, there we go. All of the, the last few bits of lava can drain away and then I can safely gather up these these last few bits of hellstone. So uh, how much how much do I need then? So I'm going to need uh, 
eight. I'm gonna need 12. I'm gonna need a lot like 16 pieces I think I'm gonna need. Uh, it's not gonna be too much. I'm gonna get more than 16 just in case because uh, I know my, my math is uh, often pretty bad. So uh, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna accidentally be wrong and uh, not have quite enough again. I'm getting get into a bit of trouble. I sort of I was getting very lucky at first and being very left alone, and then suddenly everything came out after me at once. I think <laughs> people realized that I was coming down to to seal their steal their precious hellstone and they, they decided they didn't want me to do that. And oh no, that's another arch demon and no! I was incinerated, I was taken out. Right, I might have enough. It says I got 22 hellstone. Let's go back to the hellforge and see if I got enough. Uh, if not, uh, hopefully Lee is going to be able to, to gather enough. Right, so I need, I need six, oh no, I need six more, not four more. I did do bad maths, well, bad memory. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. No, I do, I need one more. It has actually happened. Have you got four pieces of hellstone, Lee? Please tell me you got four pieces of hellstone. <laughs> what, was it just not meant to be? No, I need two more pieces. I need two more pieces of Hellstone, and then I'll be able to make it look 19. I've got 19. Well, let me have a quick look in all of these chests, and let me just see if there's some lying around here. I need two pieces. Any in there? Any in any of these chests, please? I'm sure there's a chest which I've got full of just random ores and stuff, and there might be some in there. Surely, surely there's going to be some round here. Two little tiny pieces. I can't believe I died. It's so dangerous down there. What's this down here? Oh, that's meteorite, iron. Is it not going to happen? Is it, was it just not meant to be? Was today just not going to be the day that I'm able to make the fiery greatsword? I'm sure in one of these chests around here I had some. Let me just check this chest up here. That's all gold. I've got some demonite in there, actually. I need to organise these chests, actually. They're, they're becoming a, a little bit of a mess, to be honest. Um, no, I don't think there's going to be any. I don't think there's going to be any. There. Have you, I think, okay, I think Lee's right down at the underworld now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around for a little bit longer for Lee to hopefully return with the uh, the final two pieces. He seems to be having a bit of trouble down there. Shall I look on the map? Shall I look on the map and see see how Lee's doing? Where Whereabouts is he? Uh, I think he was down here somewhere. He might be in a, a part of the map. Oh, there we go. He is, he is down in hell. He seems to be having a, a little bit of trouble. I can see there's quite a lot of things around him. Oh, no, is that him down? Was he just taken out? I think he might have just been slain. <laughs> I kind of saw that from the map view, Lee. Lee, please tell me you managed to get two pieces of hellstone. Just two pieces. Are you okay? Oh, why did your health just go down? Are you okay, Lee? What's going on? Is, is he actually up here? I think it was, I think the, the whole ordeal was a bit too traumatic. There we go. He got 31 pieces. Forget two pieces. Forget two. He got 31. We can do it. We can finally end on a good note. Right, here we go. Uh, let's go and make the, the final uh, bit there. And now I can hopefully craft the fiery greatsword. Please don't tell me I'm missing something else and I've got this wrong. Oh, what was that? Oh, the, oh, a purple. Oh, there were the phase blades. Uh, what are these? All different phase blades, are they? Uh, right, where is it? Where is it? How do I make it? Is it in this sword section? Oh, is this new? Is this new? The fiery greatsword. I need 35 bars. I, I, d <laughs> I, did, I did it wrong. Oh, no. Oh, please. Can I have enough to make 35 bars? I can't take any more of this. I can't have anything else go wrong. Is there any chance? No, I've only got 27. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough. I give up. I give up. This was not the day. This was not the day that the fiery greatsword was meant to be complete. I think I got it wrong. I think on PC you need 20 and on Xbox you need 35 bars. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I can't do this anymore. I can't have anything else go wrong. What's Lee said down here in this sign? He's just laughing. <laughs> You've got to laugh. you got to laugh. What a couple of idiots we are, Lee. What a couple of idiots. <laughs> right, in my next video, I 100% assure you I am going to make a fiery greatsword. No matter how long it goes on for, I am going to finish that sword and I am going to be happy and proud of myself. <laughs> oh dear, sorry for the world's biggest fail trying to make this sword. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. A big thank you to L for Lee for sticking with me and not just leaving me in the middle of the game and getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> in my next video, I will hopefully finally be able to make the fiery great sword. I want to say a very big thank you for you to watching, and I will see you later. Bye!